Hello Transformers fans, I'm your host, RoboGamer1HD, and ladies and gentlemen, you are probably wondering why I changed my name. Well, uh, that's a longer story in itself, but mostly nostalgia and of course, uh, I loved my original channel name. And for those of you who don't know me, I originally did have a previous channel, but uh, that is a story for another time. Today, we are here to talk about the facts and the information that we recently received on Sunday. Now, I've been <laughs> mulling this over and trying to figure out if I should even do a video on this or not, but this could actually impact the development for certain affinities game for Transformers Rise, which originally was titled the last two titles, Transformers Online and Transformers Impact. So ladies and gentlemen, strap up, let's get into this and let's start talking about what it is and what the future could be for Transformers Rise. All right, let's get started. All right, Transformers fans. Now, while I have a brand new name, it also means I can't start using Frosty Coffee intro anymore. So I'm gonna quickly cut to things and of course, get right into the action. So uh, as you guys know, I am RoboGamer1HD now, and I am going to get started into this article here. So on Sunday, I heard or I was uh, messaged a article by Josh Ye. Now, he is apparently a very famous uh, gaming uh, reporter, and he has been um, investigating uh, stuff about Tencent and Liu Technologies. And uh, so, right off the bat here, eight months after Tencent's acquisition, Liu is mired in canceled projects and hobbled by an exodus of employees. Tencent is said to be particularly interested in one Liu investee company, American developer Certain Affinity. And that's what this is all about. This is where I'm going to tell you guys whether or not Certain, whether or not Certain Affinity's game, Transformers Rise, whether or not it is still ongoing or if it is canceled. Now, a lot of people are very worried and it's very unfortunate actually that a lot of people are actually bashing the Transformers Rise game before they've even seen the game yet. Um, I was going through uh, the most recent article which was actually published late last night uh, by Silver Optimus and he found out about this article fairly recently and decided to do an article on TFW 2005. So I thought after seeing so many comments and seeing this article um, just bring the information back up to my eyes, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna make a video finally. I finally decided that I'm just gonna make a video on this content because in reality, it actually does impact Transformers Rise a lot. Um, so let's continue. Uh, so going back to the article, the original article about this information, um, let me just uh, read out my synopsis or version of it. Um, Leo Technologies is almost basically dissolved. It's almost like they don't even exist anymore. Uh, their website is gone. Uh, employees are rapidly dissipated or they're doing walkouts or they're almost completely gone. Um, there is no leadership. Many people claim that Liu Technologies is a shadow of its former self and there's stale air and it is very quiet within the company. Um, so let's talk about Lord of the Rings. That is one of the games that uh, Liu Technologies was actually uh, outsourcing to Amazon games to, to co-develop with Liu Technologies and or at least Liu Technologies invested in Lord of the Rings to make a brand new MMO experience with Lord of the Rings as an IP. So, why was it cancelled? We all know that the Lord of the Rings MMO was cancelled and we know there was some kind of disagreement or at least in the back of my mind I knew that there had to be some kind of disagreement ever since Tencent stepped in. Uh, so the real reason finally came up in this article saying that Amazon cancelled its agreement with Liu because the US company didn't agree with the terms from Tencent. Go figure. Tencent Games has been uh, widely known throughout the gaming industry um, and they're very famous for their games but also at the same time they're very famous for the way they do business which isn't exactly great in a lot of people's eyes. 
Um, Tencent didn't care in the grand scheme of things about Lord of the Rings title. It would have been profitable, um, but doesn't come out as a shock to Tencent because of the power and position they hold in the gaming industry already. The reporter that wrote the article noted there were three Lord of the Rings books displayed intentionally near the front reception in Liu Technologies' uh, company or building. Tencent did, however, have an eye for one particular company, and that was under Liu Technologies' belt. And you guessed it, High Moon Studio... Uh, wait a second, that's already been done from another scummy company. I'll rephrase. Certain Affinity was laid eyes on by Tencent for profitable game. Yes, Certain Affinity, the company we have all been talking about for over a year now. The company that has helped and developed games such as Call of Duty, Doom, Left 4 Dead, Halo, Bioshock 4, which is now under Cloud Chamber Studios. Last but not least, the game we have all been impatiently waiting for, Transformers Rise. So, what made Tencent so invested in wanting to buy Liu Technologies? Well, the reality is, Tencent never wanted Liu Technologies in the first place. All they wanted was Certain Affinity, which Liu Technologies basically owned. Now, Certain Affinity wasn't out and about, and they weren't trying to get bought out by another company. But reality is, when they bought Liu Technologies, they had their eye on the prize, which was Certain Affinity. All they wanted was Certain Affinity, which Liu Technologies basically owned. Tencent had its eye in the console market for a while, especially with the increase in profit and demand for console gaming with the new Xbox Series X and glorious PlayStation 5. A lot of heads turned when Lord of the Rings, a game intended to be a major blockbuster for an IP, ended up being cancelled. Another series called Civilization Online with a team of over 200 people vanished in the blink of an eye. Now, that is absolutely crazy that Tencent goes and they have been just destroying um, all of these companies that, uh, that originally had all of these games lined up to be coming out and then out of nowhere just gets deleted. It's, it's absolutely crazy to think that Tencent has this power to just buy out these companies and then delete them in seconds, as if they didn't even exist in the first place. And it's crazy. And I, I absolutely detest Tencent for the way they've been doing business and the way they've been doing things. They could have profit from these games, but in reality, they didn't care about these games in the first place. They only cared about one singular company by buying out Liu Technologies the way they have. Um, Alex uh, Shu, the, sh the chief and CEO of Liu Technologies since June 2017, left the company in April of 2021 this year. And the image on screen that I'm showing ta was taken around March and soon after the time of his departure in April. He was the one that joined up with Certain Affinity as the con as the contract holder for Transformers Impact or Transformers Online at the time. I can only assume that his last hope was for Certain Affinity to succeed with Transformers Rise. Michael Kessling, a creative director at Leo Technologies from May 2019, left the company in July of 2020. And maybe that was a start of, or a sign of a start of things to start to go downhill. Um, Leo Technologies invested over $120 million to acquire Warframe, developer Digital Extremes. Over time, the game has become diminishingly less profitable since last year. A former Liu Technologies employee that declined to be named told a reporter that Liu was set in a great position just because of its IPs and various projects, but now has become nothing more than a small-time studio for Tencent and the world. So what is Tencent's true goal? Guys, this is what I'm trying to get at here, is after all of these things trickling downhill ever since like um, maybe early 2020, or maybe even before that, uh, Liu Technologies, ever since power started to shift, 
uh, things have have started to shift in a way where people that do not care about video games have become in power with Leo Technologies. And of course, uh, it's the same with Tencent. They, uh, there's, there's people who are coming into power here with these companies and they do not care about video games. And that is why things like this are happening with Lord of the Rings IP, Civilization Online, and there's a possibility that this might also happen with Transformers Rise. But hold on to that thought. I'm going to switch your minds into thinking that that may not be the case here. So what is, tr what is Tencent's true goal here? This is purely my theory here and speculation based on the facts given. Now, while, while the article talks about, while the article never talks about Transformers, keep that in mind, it doesn't talk about Transformers. It only mainly talks about Lord of the Rings, Civilization Online, and Warframe. Uh, it never mentions Transformers. It only mentions Certain Affinity, but we all know the reason why they're talking about Certain Affinity is because. So let's continue further as to what my theory is. It does talk about Certain Affinity, and there is only one reason why Tencent would be interested in Certain Affinity. Money and a lot of profit to be made. But why? Why? What game title could possibly be so profitable for Tencent to dissolve multiple companies just to get at one specific company? The reason is the Transformers video game IP. Now, if that doesn't turn heads, I don't know what does. And of course, heads, heads have been turning ever since Lord of the Rings got dissolved. And of course, uh, with uh, Civilization Online, like there's been a lot of people turning their heads as to why Tencent's doing all this. And of course, my big theory is because of the Transformers IP. Now, if everyone recalls back in 2017, there was a game made by Tencent Games called Transformers Online. And this is where a lot of Transformers fans got very confused. Tencent Games had an exclusive, it was exclusive in China and Korea, but never made it to the West, a game called Transformers Online. The game actually turned out horribly, resulting in the loss of the IP for Transformers under Tencent's belt. The servers for their game was called Transformers Online, but shut down in February of 2020. However, as mentioned before, Liu Technologies signed a contract with Hasbro in 2017 with that exact same IP. Liu then outsourced to Certain Affinity to develop the game in late 2017. The game started off with a concept name of Transformers Impact because of the Aegis weapon uh, and the leaked story synopsis. You guys can check that out in my other videos up in the top right hand corner. Later in, later in the documents to be known as Transformers Online. This is confused, of course, like I said, by many Transformers fans because Tencent used the exact same name for their game and so did Liu Technologies as well. Until recently, as of a couple weeks ago, it changed to Transformers Rise. So, with Tencent losing the rights to the Transformers IP and looking for some big IPs to get their feet wet and to dominate the Western market further, my theory suggests that Tencent's goal was to, to dissolve Leo Technologies so that they could rewrite the contract with Hasbro and Leo Technologies and Certain Affinity just so that the, just so that Tencent could have the rights once again to the Transformers IP. Certain Affinity is well known is a well known AAA developer and they have been developing a high-class Transformers free-to-play MMO that could be one of the most profitable games in the, in, in the industry. So guys, this is what I'm trying to get at here, is that this, this article that is here, now I didn't read any, any of the article and I'm just sitting here with the webpage here uh, open, but uh, it, I just did a big synopsis and my theory as to what's going on with Tencent and what they're doing and Tencent's reality is that they only had one eye on a prize for certain affinity and of course who has a big name IP that could be very profitable to Tencent that is the Transformers IP they had only one eye uh, one one site and that was for the Transformers IP and that's what I'm trying to get at here 
But what is the reality for the future of Transformers Rise? Well, here's here's the case. It could be uh, a couple things. One, Hasbro could not agree and certain affinity as the developer for the game may not agree with the direction of the way Tencent wants to go and way, the way they want to split a deal. Now this may not be Transformers Universe where a beta of the game was made and uh, a disagreement was uh, in the direction of the game was not made properly uh, when Hasbro and um, what was it, JJX that was developing Transformers Universe didn't go over well. Um, but this is a completely different situation where a company buys out another company and this is what my true uh, thoughts are or theory wise as to what Tencent's true goal is to rewrite a contract with Hasbro having the Transformers IP under Tencent's name instead of Liu Technologies because if Liu Technologies cannot uh, provide a steady course as to the direction of the game then where's the Transformers IP going to go from there and if certain affinity has the game under their belt for developing it then where's the direction of the game going to go it's not like uh another company that's going to invest in certain affinity is going to come out of the blue and it not being tencent it's got the only people that are left is tencent and uh that's my thoughts anyway uh so that's what i think is going to happen um or the big um downfall is that uh Tencent and Hasbro are not going to see eye to eye and so is certain affinity they're not going to see eye to eye with uh, the way Tencent does business and uh, they're probably going to go downhill and Transformers, Ri Transformers Rise is never going to get in the hands of gamers and it's never going to become an actual game uh, for a lot of people. Um, and if that is the case, then it's going to be very sad for Transformers fans because we haven't seen a good game series since High Moon Studios when they developed Transformers War for Cybertron and Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Now, some people say that games like uh, Devastation is it a good game. It was a decent game, but it wasn't it wasn't a big profitable game that like High Moon Studios games where a lot of multiplayer action and interaction with other players was a thing and a good decent story. Now, I'm not saying Devastation wasn't a good story, but it just um, for, for some people, it's, it may not be their, their niche or, or their type of game that they are interested in action combat, whereas uh, the shooter style, third person shooter style of approach, which is what Certain Affinity is trying to do with their game, a third person perspective of a shooter, um, is what a lot of gamers seem to like. And at least that's, and with Certain Affinity's game, they're doing the best out of Transformers. They're taking the best pieces of Transformers and placing it in their game. If this game doesn't come to be, then a lot of Transformers fans are going to be very sad. And But for me, what makes me even sadder is that seeing the comments on TFW 2005, where people are outright bashing um, this Transformers game, and it, it just doesn't make sense, uh, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I don't understand why some people are actually bashing this game when they haven't even seen the game to begin with. Uh, so it, it's very sad to see that uh, that Transformers Rise is kind of in limbo right now. And that's the best way to put it, is Transformers Rise is in limbo. But if Tencent is going to make a profit, they will keep investing into Certain Affinity and they will keep going along with Certain Affinity to develop Transformers Raw. Transformers Rise. But the thing is, Tencent may not have an eye for the Western community. They may implement things that gamers may not want, and they they may not be for the gamer rather than for themselves kind of thing. So just keep that in mind, and that's, that's my big thought as to what may happen with Transformers, Ra Transformers Rise and what may happen with Certain Affinity's game. But if Certain Affinity doesn't agree to terms as to the direction of the game, then the game will be all for naught. Uh, the game will be developed for three plus four years now uh, and may never see the light. But who knows, maybe a Certain Affinity member may leak the game out in the, wi out in the wild or <laughs> who knows, or, or, or footage of the game, and we will realize how awesome Transformers Rise 
would have been kind of thing. Um, so um, this is the best information that I can provide for you guys. Now, the other thing that may also hint towards the game being still live is that the IP, um, uh, sorry, the, uh, the domain for Transformers Rise has been claimed. Uh, the game has, uh, the domain has been activated for Transformers R Rise, but the website is not available like we can't see it yet kind of thing and this is this is a day after we found out about the new title for transformers rise and um it seems that uh the manager or whatever that was conversing back and forth with certain affinity uh that had that information which you guys can check out that video if you guys haven't already on the change for Trans transformers rise um is that there was there was a lot of um key uh hints towards a brand new name change uh, about a couple weeks ago. So that is another factor as to saying that Transformers Rise, it's not done yet. It's not game over for us guys. Uh, that Transformers Rise may still come to be and it is still in forward motion potentially, but it's in limbo because there may be contract complications with Hasbro and Certain Affinity and Tencent now because the way Tencent is going about business and practically dissolving all of these studios. Um, so what is their true goal? I think Certain Affinity was it all along with the Transformers IP. That is my thoughts on things. And although it's very sad, there is still hope. There is still hope for the game. And I don't think gamers uh, and Transformers fans should write off this MMO by any means. So keep that in mind. And I think that people should still... Um, still keep the conversation going about Transformers Rise and still show their hype, still show their passion for this game rather than writing it off altogether. So guys, until we hear further information as to this game actually being cancelled, still keep it alive, guys. And that's all I can say about the situation be between uh, Tencent, Certain Affinity, and Hasbro. So guys, until then, guys, Thank you all for watching. Thank you for watching this update on Transformers Rise. And I really do hope that we do have a future for Transformers Rise. And uh, I hope you guys will have a great conversation with me here in the comment section down below. Of course, like the video, share it with other friends, share it with your friends, and share the hype uh, for Transformers Rise. Continue to keep that hype alive, guys. Continue to keep that hope alive. And hopefully we will see a teaser in the near future. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I usually have a catchphrase at the end of the video, but <laughs> until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I'm RoboGamer1HD, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Catch you later.